Good morning, Trojans. Today's date is Tuesday, April 2nd, and it's an A day. I'm Chloe Donahue. And I'm Linnea Tissell. Today's quote is from Ryan Gosling, who is a Canadian actor and who has appeared in numerous independent films and major studio features. He had this to say, quote, I've learned it's important not to limit yourself. You can do whatever you really love to do, no matter what it is, unquote. On this day in history, U.S. President Woodrow Wilson asked Congress for a declaration of war against Germany. Last fall, we here at TBC were invited to join the Youth Takeover Program at KQED. For those of you who don't know, KQED is a public media company affiliated with PBS. Their public television station is on Channel 9, their public radio station is on 88.5 FM, and their internet site is kqed.org. For their Youth Takeover Program, KQED invites schools from all of the nine Bay Area counties. Students from those schools produce stories that get featured on KQED programs like Perspectives, Forum, KQED Live, and Bay Curious and they have their say about the issues affecting their lives. KQED only chooses 10 schools each year to participate in their program, and this year, TBC made the cut. Yesterday, you saw the story produced by Kayla Kesterson about our new podcast. Today, we have a story from Dylan Damien about a local Bay Area musician who is standing up to the music industry. Musicians struggle to make a living and reach their core audience, except for one. The Russell Thomas, formerly known as Toda, is a Bay Area rapper stemming from Vallejo, California and is breaking records with his authentic and heartfelt flows. He is an entrepreneur and owner of Good Company, a brand and organization that is determined to help promote rising Bay Area artists. The Russell is not new to making waves in the music industry. Not only because of his status, neither being signed or promoted by any major labels, the Russell is a fully independent artist who wants to redefine what it means to be an artist in the music industry. To put it simply, let me say it like this. The average dollar an artist gets per stream is $0.006. So that means it's going to take an artist around 2 million streams, or roughly around 3,000 fans, to make $12,000. Then wait a payout period and then have to redistribute that money back into their business. What the Russell has done is cut all of that, and allowed fans and people who want to see something be built pay a certain amount of their choosing to support. So this allows fans to pay as little as $5 to $10 or as high as $1,000 for their contribution. The Russell calls this the proud to pay movement. We were even lucky enough to interview La Russell himself and ask about his interpretation on proud to pay. It's, it's, uh, it has the ability to evolve. Like, Proud to Pay was invented by Nipsey, and then I came and I, 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 the Proud to Pay version that I use is not like Nipsey's model anymore. Like, I created an offer based system where my system is Proud to Pay, but it's still based on my own precedent. So, you can offer me whatever you like, and I have the ability to determine if that's what I want to give myself for. Um, if, if I only have money and my only way to get resources is to be able to pay people or have to give them money, I may never get nothing done. But if I just have 10 people who believe in me, who's willing to rally up when I'm down and, you know, like, when you build a certain community, you, you know, those issues go away because you always have someone who just really, really loves what you do and fuck with that and will support you. All in all, I was really beyond grateful for this experience. I couldn't believe that I actually met one of my favorite artists of this time period, and I didn't believe that it happened this quick. But at the end, I can only thank LaRussell for letting me in in his home and taking me around the town of Vallejo to actually experience it. And we didn't go deep, but he still welcomed me with full open arms, and I can only appreciate that. <laughs> If you want to check out more of LaRussell, feel free to check his socials at Good Company or through his own title, LaRussell. This has been Dylan Damien from Trojan Broadcast Channel reporting for KQED's Youth Takeover. We'll bring you the other stories this week when we're back from spring break. You can also watch them on KQED's website and excerpts will be aired on KQED's radio and television channels starting April 22nd. Trojans, it's time to dust off your cowboy boots because Hodun Throwdown is coming to town April 19th. Yeehaw! We'll kick the night off with a tailgate with food, drinks, and games. Seniors and seniors only can bring their cars onto the blacktop. Cars can start arriving between 5.30 and 6, and the tailgate starts at 6. The dance starts at 7 and goes until 9. Tickets will be sold in the courtyard the week leading up to the dance for $15, and the food at the tailgate will be sold separately. If you miss us at lunch, you will have one more opportunity to buy tickets at the door from 6 to 7. Seniors are invited to decorate their cars with your future plans. Show everyone what you'll be doing after graduation. We want to wish Mr. Lopez a happy belated birthday. If you see him around campus, make sure to let him know. Okay, Trojans, there are a bunch of clubs meeting today. 
The friendship bracelet making club meets in F9. You can email Natalie Huber at nhuber24 at pekk12.org if you want to be involved. Junior States of America is today in A5 at lunch. Please contact Nora Lunabus at nlunabus24 at pekk12.org or Maya Kramer at mkramer24 at pekk12.org for more info. Are you looking forward to some fuzzy therapy today? Well, the Lunch Bunch, aka Friends of Truffles, the therapy dog, will be in the Butterfly Garden today at lunch. You can email either Caitlin Severin or Aaliyah Singh at cseverin at pekk12.org or aling at pekk12.org for more information. The Cryptocurrency Club meets once each month and today is the day. Go to room C16 if you're interested in crypto. You can contact Jack Pattison at jpattison25 at pekk12.org if you want more information. The Eco Fashion Club meets in F13. Contact Maya Hoffman at mhoffman24 at pekk12.org if you want to learn more about the club. It's time to trust my instincts, close my eyes and leave. It's time to try. Here and we give back to our community around us. Join Interact! For more than this, I wish you love. So BSA is actually found right here at C6 in Senora Covanis' room. I have meetings every first Tuesday of each month and sometimes we have a Google Classroom where we send out little announcements. BSA is for cualquier persona in en esta escuela que habla dos idiomas y quiere pues ayudar a la comunidad que se sienta más inclusivo. School dance, like a sanctioned school dance in the gym with a banda and everything. That's one of our biggest goals. Follow us on Instagram at PHS underscore BSA. Right there. That's it for today's program. Stay safe out there, Trojans, and make, make it, it a great, great day. day.